Lipscomb Academy head football coach Nashville won a playoff game, their first playoff game, 63-3. to They're the Chiefs of Nashville, Tennessee. Decade and a half, Super Bowl and a Pro Bowl. So I was saying this, yeah, we can – Let's let's not separate coach and quarterback. They both need each other. So mm-hmm. when I watch Tua, I'm like, man, if he gets Brian Flores defense, they're going to be in the 20s a lot. And then I watch Tua, and it's weird, Trent. I think Tua is a better fit than Ryan Fitzpatrick because when I watch that defense, I'm like, you only you, you, you just stay within the system. Like, I don't know. I watch Miami, Trent, and I'm like, this thing could. What did you make of the performance of Tua, Brian, the whole Dolphin team? Well, I love the Dolphins right now. I think Brian Flores is one of the best coaches in football. Uh, they play hard. You know, you still see in the NFL, there's certain teams that play hard at the point of attack. They play hard in big moments, but they don't play hard away from the ball. They don't play hard when they're down. Uh, the Dolphins play like their hair's on fire uh, for 60 minutes. I love their coaching. They're so organized. They play clean football. Uh, they're really good on special teams. And offensively, I like what they're doing. They're not trying to be flash and sizzle. They're trying to be substantive. Um, I think that's a good volume of throws for Tua. You know, high 20s, low 30s as a rookie quarterback. I think you get the most out of the quarterback that way. I liked how they used him. They recognize he's a um, he's a brilliant downfield thrower. They gave him opportunities to take shots downfield. He looked like these other rookie phenom quarterbacks. Uh, he was very decisive. Uh, his eyes were settled. Um, he wasn't looking all, all, the, all over the place and, and frenetic. Uh, I thought it was a really good performance by the Dolphins all the way around, and I think they're only going to get better. You know, if you look at, I always, I didn't count the first four uh, games of the season, kind of count them as preseason. Uh, if you look at after the first four games, uh, I think they have the second most wins in the NFL. So this is a team that's trending up. Uh, they're getting more organized as they go on, and and now I think they got the right quarterback to take them to the playoffs. Well, you know, Kyler Murray doesn't have the defense. And, I mean, his coach is a college coach who'd never been in the NFL. They've asked him to be in the toughest division. Every two or three weeks, I watch Kyler, and he's just better. I don't even know. I guess there's Russell Wilson. I mean, I, I'm i blown away by him. I think, you know what's funny, Trent? He may throw the nicest football in the league when he's on. It is stunningly beautiful. I don't know if there's a more exciting player to watch. You know, last year that was Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. You can make that argument. Russell Wilson. But, I mean, what they do in the run game with Kyler, like you make the slightest little mistake, uh, he just torches you in the run game. And then all the design runs. Um, they've stolen a, a page out of Baltimore's book with some of the arcing and double arcing blocking in the zone run game. Uh, very popular in college football and high school football. Um, he understands when people are around him. He protects himself. The kid hardly ever gets hit. Uh, and you're right, he can flat spin. And I, mean, I remember at Elite 11 camp when he was 16 years old, um, pointing out that his ball spun as much as anybody I'd ever seen. So uh, this guy's a natural leader, never lost a high school football game in Texas 6A football. Uh, you know, the accomplishments go on and on and on, and, and I think he's destined for greatness in the NFL as well. Trent Dilfer, his Lipscomb Academy high school football team won a playoff game 63-3. to And uh, so that's – is that two playoff wins? One playoff win. We got a tough one this week. We're trying to go 1-0 again this week. I got to – Tough challenge from a team out of Memphis. All right. Good luck, Trent. Thanks, bud. Thanks, brother.